Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun, and the season finale of Life After Lockup is here. Let's get into it. So Blaine has got a call from his lawyer, and for $3,000, he can get the tracking device off. Money is a little tight, but he said he'll get it to him. Now, Lindsay has called, and he's on his way to talk to Lindsay. He's happy about that, but he is still hurt at how she talked to him last week. He has come home. They have moved some things out. Amber is a live wire and i really think tc does not understand how amber really is because amber will tussle he told her that he wasn't attracted to her he told her that losing the baby was her fault and he also told her that he didn't know how to handle it so she has had a meltdown and has sent the cameras away p.s her and puppy are still on parole but puppy is always there for amber and i love that Sarah's about to go get her boob job. They're getting ready to drop the baby off at her mom's house. Sean doesn't want anything to do with her mother because he lied to her about where Sarah was when she was seeing Anthony. I've never seen so many grown men just pout like Sean and Blaine. Like, it is crazy. At this point, Taylor just needs to break up a chance. He had a very drunken night last night, and um, he fell asleep over his friend's house. He was like, look, you got to get up because I got to go to work, and you need to get into AA. I mean, you need to call your woman and tell her that you don't work and you got a problem. So Cameron's sisters are in town, right? And they were calling Aries Casper because every time they come around, she's not there. And then he finally tells them that Aries was sick. That's why she didn't come to the celebration. And they were like, all you had to do was tell us that. You had us mad and you started all this and, and the girl wasn't even feeling good. So they're trying to tell him that he doesn't need to be drinking. He doesn't need to be doing too much. He said he can do whatever he wants to do because he's handling his business. And he went on to have a drink. <laughs> Child, y'all know that uh, Monique put Derek out. So he's somewhere calling, begging her to come and meet him. She, of course, is going to do it. So Monique has come out here to see him, right? He's getting ready to go back to Cleveland. He wants to talk to her. He's apologized. He asked her, what could he do? She said, you can stop sleeping with your phone in your underwear. That's a bit much. Monique told him that he humiliated her in front of her family, and he did. And she also told him that she really came out here to break up with him. He wants to propose. Let's see how this goes. I love Mike and Justine and this little thing they have in the dressing room. Like, to me, they are the realest couple, right? Uh, Derek and Monique just seems like a gimmick. I'm going on to part two. Hey, right. y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun, and I'm back with part two of Life After Lockup, the season finale. Um, Mike is about to perform in Las Vegas. He's nervous. Justine is supporting him. And I'm excited. I can't wait to see it. And he's pulled out that $11,000 that she was trying to find out where the money went in the account. So we're going to see if he gives her that tonight. Child, Mike is up here killing on the stage. Justine is looking at him with googly eyes. I get it, honey. It's something about a rapper when they on stage performing. Girl, congratulations, y'all. So Mocha can't with this public display of affection. But he's giving her the ring. She's very happy. And everybody knows Justine is with Mike. So let's keep it moving. I need Marcelino and Brittany to get it together because they love each other and I love them for it. They, these are OGs, right? So they're going to renew their vows for their fifth anniversary. He has flown her mother in so her mother could be with her for this day. And they want to work it out. So you can see the love there. I love this for them. That damn Blaine is shot off, right? So Blaine has been helping Lindsay since she got out of jail. When he got into trouble, she really did lose it, and she's ready to go. So she's come back and complained that he's not doing anything. He's paid his restitution. All he needs is three grand to get the anchor bracelet off. And then she's not appreciative. So Blaine was just like, I don't have a pretty little, you know what, to con me in to give me money so I can send it to my daughter. She didn't like that too much. And he was right. TC said he sucks at being a person, and he's never going to be good at it. Amber is a good girl. Like, she loved him, right? He hurt her feelings, especially when he said he was out of it. You do suck as a person, TC. And Amber was too good for you. He said he doesn't deal with emotions well. Like, he knows what the emotions are, but he says he can't let them out. That has to be horrible. Like, that's like 
being in prison for yourself. Now, T.C. done sat here and hurt this girl feelings, right? Now, she has come in the house, and he was like, so the baby situation really messed you up? She was like, yeah. He was like, the minute you told me I had named the baby. T.C. T.C. was really devastated about the loss of the baby, but she had to let the baby go for her health. And he took it the wrong way, and he let it out the wrong way to her. So Cameron has told us, not his sisters or Aries, that he's going to treatment for his drinking. He's talking to his sisters and he's agreeing with them. And he also said he knew he had a problem when he got up and urinated in the closet because he thought it was the bathroom. Cameron is really owning up to his problem and he is really trying to fix it. And I'm really proud of him for that. Looks like I got to go on to part three. I'll be right back. Hey, y'all, it's your girl Millie Chan, part three of the season finale of Life After Lockup. Let's go. Child, Derek is trying to be romantic and has taken Monique to the ice skating rink. I'm going to leave that right there. Child, he got on one knee at the ice rink while Monique's standing on the outside of the ice rink and have proposed marriage to her. Let's see what she says. Sean and his insecurities drive me crazy. She's home from the boob job. She has told him she wanted to do it for herself and her self-esteem. He feels like she's doing it because Anthony is back in the picture. Uh, if you worth anything, then you wouldn't be worried about it. You know what I'm saying? I really hope Sean listens to what Sarah had to say because she is really in love with him and she is happy with him. I really hope he watches this and gets over that. This vow renewal made me miss marriage. Like, they've been through some stuff. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm back on track. This was beautiful. Let's keep going. So Blaine has really set Lindsay straight, right? And he was like, he's ready to clock out because he can't keep taking this from her. So she said, what do you need? You know, he said, I need you to support me. I need you. I need Miley. I need your support. She said she wasn't good at relationships because she's been in jail all of her, you know, like since she was a kid. But I'd rather her leave Blaine than keep stringing him along because he is trying. Now she's about to give him some. And then she says she wants to be married and she wants to be married to Blaine. If you do marry him, just do the right thing. Child, he finally told Taylor that he is not working. He's been laid off. He said he will go to AA classes, social classes, and uh, counseling sessions. And he said this whole family is dependent on him and he is not well. I'm glad he recognizes that. But him going to see other women behind her back just saying that they're friends is not going to cut it. Taylor sounded like she's going to break up with Chance. She was like, she really doesn't need him to make it, so... She doesn't deserve this. I hope she leaves. So Cameron has told his sisters that he's having a baby. Eris's father noticed that Cameron has a little temper. He says he hopes he doesn't have to come down here to handle that. And the family is just all together, and I'm happy to see it. I'm pulling for Eris and Cameron, too. I really want this to work out. I need Cameron to get himself together. It'll work out. Y'all, two months after the vow renewal, she went through his phone, which she should not have done, but she found him talking to other women. I am so devastated. Child, she said yes, but we already knew that. Derek said no more women, no more temptation. He was a player. He is in love with Monique. That's it, y'all. Bye.